Welcome back everybody. Uh, this is gonna be a real short video. I just wanna show you what happens, you know, if you don't come out here and check on your garden, you know. Just look at it. Just, do you, do you know what y'all looking at? Remember the onions that we planted? Here's the onions right here. I already weeded some of these out. But, Look at all the weeds just have taken over. I mean, you can't even tell where the onions are anymore. You can barely tell that they're inside. The onions are inside all this growth. And like I told y'all, weeds, weeds don't have to do nothing, they don't have to do anything. <laughs> you know, they just come up. And, and for some reason, it's like they surround Look at that, see the onion? Look how they surrounded the onion. It's like they're purposely trying to come and take over and say, hey, we don't want your stuff to grow. We're gonna come in there and we're gonna go around it so, so it won't grow. So that's why you need to take care of your garden in the beginning. All right, right now these weeds are easy to get up because they're small. Once their roots get deep in the ground, then it's very hard for you know to pull them up because you don't want to pull your plant up along with it. See, here's another white butterfly, a cabbage butterfly, and I don't like them in the garden at all. People say, why? Well, why not? They're pollinators, right? Yeah, they're also the ones that fertile. We have cabbages, uh, kale, uh, any kind of greens. You know, they 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 lay their eggs on it. And they have caterpillars all over your uh, caterpillars will be all over your vegetables, and they just eat holes in it every day. And every day you be out picking them out. So that's why I don't like these guys in my garden, especially when I have greens growing. So I got my uh, my lettuce over there, and then then I got this kale right here coming up right here. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and harvest that real soon, and the one in the pot behind me, because. I don't want them to get to them first. All right, so anyway, back to the weeds. So this is this video is about weeds, not about everything else. So, like I'm showing you, this is between, this is the stevia in between it. Look at all the weeds just popping up everywhere. So now, today, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go down the line and just pull all the weeds all around my plants, okay? And look, y'all. See the onions? They're starting to get bulbs on them. See that? Remember when I first planted them? They had no bulbs on them. Look at this. These are the red onions. They're starting to bulb up now. I see, so definitely, look at this one. See? So, yes, the onions are coming along nicely. Just like everything else. But, it would not come along nicely, come along nicely if I don't go ahead and weed now. So, because these weeds are also stealing nutrients from my plants. And I don't like that either. All right, so I'm gonna be out here a few minutes and I don't mind, you know, it's a nice sunny day. I'm just gonna be out here weeding. And this, this is a real quick video, just to come out and check your plants. If you see any weeds around them, just go ahead and pull them up because you're, you're saving yourself a lot of uh, headache in the future. You know, when that plant gets big and it's trying to overgrow your plant. So you can just take charge. Look at this big old weed right here. It's a big weed. And look, there's an onion right there. Another one, red onions. So let me go ahead and get to work. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And y'all, do me a favor. Go out there and grow something. Grow something before it's too late, you know. You still got time. It's uh, it's sometimes it's like mid June fifteenth today, exactly right, June fifteenth. So you still got time. Get out there and put something in the ground. Go to your nursery. M make sure you are uh, uh, looking for disease or any kind of insects on your plants. My sister, she went to the, she went and bought some plants. When I went over her house, I, I took a look at them, and she had mealybugs. Little, these little white bugs, it was all over her tomato plant. So I told her, don't put that in the garden until you, uh, until you get those bugs off of there first. 
and check it for real, check it for the next couple of days as well. And also, she sprayed it with neem oil. So she sprayed it down with neem oil, and she uh, was picking them off of there before she put them in a the garden. So just, just be mindful of that when you go garden. I mean, you go to the um, buy your plants. Just make sure they don't have diseases on them. You see brown spots or the yellow circles on your plants and stuff like that. Or you see like a uh, powdery mildew. Don't buy that plant. Get a better plant because you don't want to introduce that to your garden. Powdery mildew will spread throughout your plants in the garden and eventually it'll kill off your plants. There are remedies for it, but still, once it's in there, I mean, it's hard to get rid of. All right? So peace out, y'all. Have a nice day. Okay, y'all, real quick. I didn't end the video yet. I got a little bit more to add to it. So I'm back here with weed and still. And uh, any of y'all know what these are? They're not ladybugs. Look at these things. They look gross. Look at these things. Y'all know any kind of bugs these are? Look at all of those things. That's what they look like. They're freaking aliens. That's what they are. What the heck is that? Look, they must know something there. Cause look, they starting to move. See, look. I'm making them nervous. But what are they, y'all? What kind of insects are these that's on this fence? Look at them. Not a freaking ladybug. I don't know what they are. Leave it in the comments below if y'all know what these are. Because I've never seen these things. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. What are they? Peace.